How y'all? How y'all's doing? I hope you're having a good night. I am finally done with work for the night. So it's time to get home and excuse me, get doing stuff. Excuse me. Hello? 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 Just getting messages sent out. I spent way too long working on homework today. Oh, I know that. Usually is it accompanied with a pint of Ben and Jerry's and a whole serving of self-loathing. I mean, hmm. I, sh I, I, I shouldn't be in such a dour mood. <laughs> that is a beautiful green screen. I know, isn't it? <clears throat> the greenest green screen I've ever seen. I'm, I'm wearing my green Hurley shirt today. Oh yes. <laughs> I got I got back from work slash workout and I'm just like yeah I don't want to open my room up to get a different shirt to change and I it's a little too just warm. be invisible. It's okay. You you want to see you want to see what this looks like? <laughs> Here we go. It's gonna look really weird, but it, you know. <laughs> look at my floating face. Yeah, floating head. <laughs> just like do the entire stream like that. <laughs> sure, why the crap not? Let's let's change things up for, for a bit. Let's have my let's have my my bulging muscles phased out for no reason. Yeah, and just you know, everyone's like, "Hey, why are why are you uh, what where'd your chest go?" Hey, where? Why is that guy wearing a funny hat? Wait, he doesn't have a chestal cavity. Uh. Wait, wait, wait. My brother's on stream? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yar, har, har. Alright. Yeah. You, you remember that story, yeah, right? Yeah, I, I remember that yeah. story. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a good, that's honestly a good story. <laughs> I don't know which story you're talking about, I guess. He apparently um, ate cereal out of his brother's chestal cavity. For oh. kicks. Oh. No, it was kicks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Honestly, I I, oh, I can't remember man. what type of strill it was, but that All was right. good for a joke. <laughs> that was great for a joke. <laughs> All right, we're running a 60-second ad break right now, so people will not have to suffer through the ads um, when they come in. Okay. Anyway, I don't know. I'm not I, seeing ads. I, I it, still don't know how this whole thing works. It tells me I'm running ads, so I'm just going to go with it. Unless the beta thing is lying to me. Oh, now I'm seeing ads. But I can see your stream above the chat room. <gasps> Shocking. They didn't used to do that. What? Lord, up. Dude! The... Awesome! What up, dude? <laughs> Boredom just dropped the sub. Thank you so much, man. Well, if he dropped it, he needs to pick it up. <laughs> so, this I wonder like, if... Oh, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I need, I need you both to uh, tune into my stream for just one second. You gotta hear the, uh... The, um... The the theme I got going on right now. It's like almost perfect for the uh, cantina theme for the sub notification. This is, this is one of those themes that will either just make you dance around or just like, no, and the madness. <laughs> I, I'm just kind of sitting here like, what's the deal? Uh, the music? Yeah. Yeah. It's just, I'm, whereas for myself, I'm dancing in my chair. Right. I, I totally dance in my chair to that. That that is that is one of my jams. So, so boredom. Thank you so much for that sub. You know what? You know what? We'll we'll rock you a quick skill toy spin here since we're since we're uh, just getting started here. Okay, I I have to. I'm sorry. The chroma cam. The chroma has to go away for a minute. <laughs> I know you all love that. Yes, the uh, invisible chest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bring let's see. What are we? Emperor's new clothes. What are we gonna do for this? Uh, light gloves? Nah, I'm I'm not feeling light gloves tonight. We'll, we'll do another spin here. here. Uh, looks like kendama. Okay, we could do kendama. All right, we're gonna do a what quick is kendama. The kendama. All right, we're gonna pop our music back on again because it's fun. Actually, no. We'll do pretzel. Pretzel works much better for this. Um, okay. Uh, let me see. Where is my kendama? This is a kendama. It, is it looks the... like an onk. Yes, it is the Japanese variant. I was going to say, it looks like that thing that was used in the Karate Kid. Uh, probably. It uh, comes from Japan. It is the Japanese variant. I need, a, I need to buy some small... Uh... So it is the Japanese variant of the ball and cup toy. So, um, oh, hold on, this is way too loud. All right, we'll turn that down just a little bit, and I'll turn that down here. Okay, so you have the Ken, which is the ball, and then the Tama, or no, the Ken's the hammer, the Tama is the ball. It's connected by a string right here. So the idea is you have three major catch points, one, two, and three, and then you have the spike. So then uh, the art of Kendama is being able to stall and manipulate the Ken and the Tama to do just kind of really cool combo stuff. So I will now show you some moves with the Kendama. Here we go.
I, I would say your Kintama could use a little more practice than some of the others that you've shown. Oh, yeah, no. Trust me. The Okay, so I am, I am well-versed in mm. over 16 different toys. Trying to, 17. trying to maintain expert status with all of them is kind of hard. Yeah. <laughs> so I've noticed. So no, there's... I, so, I, go I ahead. was only joking with you. Don't worry. Oh, no. No, I know. No, no, honestly, no. I, I will openly admit, um, Kendama is one of my lesser ones. So I know all of the basic stuffs, but it's it's rough getting a lot of the uh -huh. more advanced stuff. That one doesn't look fun to try to learn. I, it, it's more. It's a lot more of uh, stability. It, it's more a stability oriented toy. Um, rather than like, for instance, you have um, you have yo-yos and astro jacks and juggling, which are more dynamic toys. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, so the kendama, uh, let me think, kendama. Uh, Boredom. Context... I seriously doubt that, Mister Boredom. I'm... I approve of your choice of toys. <laughs> There is nothing wrong with shooting other people safely. <laughs> safely. No, Perhaps I mean, it's not I, even safely sometimes. I, I'm assuming you refer to yourself as a boring person because you're trying to live up to your name. But trust me, you don't need to do that. <laughs> yeah, all, a lot of my buddies growing up were all big into paintball. I never got into it. My mom would never let me have one. You see... Paintball is one of those things for me, like jury duty. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can see where you're going with that. <laughs> I went paintballing once, and if I could do it again, I'd do it again. Oh, I would. I yeah. would go paintballing in a heartbeat. See, paintball and jury duty. I've done neither one of them. More than happy to try it at least once. Wait, how? How in the f? Have you never done jury duty? Never been called? Neither have I, but I am, you know, less time to be called so far, so. That is true. But, wow. They probably also wouldn't want me as a jury because I'm, on a, well, on a jury because I am not politically correct. <laughs> yeah, they don't want me on a jury either. I actually have an IQ. Yeah. You know, and, here's here's the yeah. honest honest to goodness thing that really sucks about the way we do juries here. This is and yes, mm. this is a a side political commentary. Um the problem is they really reward people for not being able to be at their jobs. And like mm. everyone that's self-employed, it's like the kiss of death. You're like uh, I can't be stuck here for 2 weeks. You know, and people that have really soft cushy government jobs are like Woohoo! Two weeks vacation, bro. I'm totally all over this thing. So, so the people that aren't necessarily, uh, on average, the go-getters, the oh, I'm gonna learn all these things, what? and mm -hmm. you know, the the ones that are just kind of time the mediocre, the the members of the mediocrity club. Right. So it's kind of like, uh, I don't want those people really deciding my fate. <laughs> You see, yeah. you see, boredom. That like having professional jurors. I, I, I think that there's some really good positives to that, but there could uh, be some drawbacks. I see a lot more well. downsides because the the issue I see with professional <laughs> jurors. I wasn't even going with bribes. I was going with the idea behind the jury duty system was it was a jury of your peers. Yeah, well, I, really I mean, is there really the, is there really anybody I can consider my peer? No, I don't think so. I mean, they're a member of your community, so that's as close as you get. Well, here's uh, the thing I... that sucks. My community is like a 30, 40, 50 mile radius. Yes. Which and... here in the suburbs of SoCal, uh, that's like seven to eight different cities. Mm -hmm. So it's like our I mean, system was not designed to be stretched out like that. Yeah, it was designed to be for much smaller and it, it yeah. should it should honestly be for just local towns. And that's but it. yeah, by the same token, 
if it's it, if peers are members of your community for me my community are the people i interact with online yeah well have <laughs> fun trying to get us into jury duty for you exactly are you kidding me you're guilty as sin bro you're going in the clink I don't Walk care about. what the charges are, you're guilty. <laughs> but another part of that, the whole, your peers is, um, by having people from your local community, they know the circumstances of the community and the laws under which you're expected to live a lot better than someone from, say, the other side of the country. Certain as we can be that good King Mogulmog the Twelfth was a And so they have a similar regional culture. They said good Let's King Mogabod. over definitions. Of more concern is the implication that Iceheart retained yes. her will, even after she was possessed. We are talking about a mortal, wielding the power and, of a And going primal. back to the airsoft versus paintball thing, uh, getting plastered with the paint isn't the bad part. It's the bruising. Yep. That's hard. So that, those special. puppies ain't be tiny. <laughs> the it's thing with small, the... Small, but they're going fast. What qualities this woman possesses? I By the way, Mr. Boredom, also enjoy sure your fancy salsa packet. Which was packaged by love by Frito Bandito Bot. Few are privy to the secrets of summoning, and but a single party standeth to profit from their dissemination. And the other thing about the juries um, is they used to have a, a lot more power than they did just, I think. I think the Supreme Court took a lot of the jury power and gave it to judges in the 70s or 80s, was it? I'm not too hep on that kind of that kind of history. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have done about it either if Glenn Beck hadn't mentioned it on his show just the other day. No. By the way, speaking of politics, I am so glad that Fartgate is a thing. <laughs> I I have because to that guy farted on TV. I have to legitimately state I woke up this morning and I saw Fartgate was actually a hashtag on Twitter and that made me giggle with I'm, glee. I, I, I'm sorry, what? Yes. Some guy farted on live TV. Uh not only some guy, Eric Swalwell, <laughs> who was a uh Democratic presidential candidate, had absolutely nothing going for him in the polls, so he dropped out. And now he's trying to make all this hay with this whole presidential, uh, you know, the whole Ukraine thing. So he gets on a Chris Matthews show and he starts talking. And all of a sudden, you legitimately hear this, <laughs> like in the background. You're just like, what, what? And you see this look of terror in his eyes for like a split second. Like, <laughs> and then he just he powers through it. I will give him that. He powers through after legitimately ripping a spatula. No, it, we we used to have a thing when I, when we were kids. Me and my brother, we used to fart all the time, and we would really make a as game out of do. it. As kids do, and we would try and out fart each other. So then, <laughs> we used to have <laughs> competitions to see who could fart the biggest. You know, because that's what <laughs> brothers do. So then, the the problem is sometimes. <laughs> not all dry and um things happen so <laughs> you do realize i am i am a self-proclaimed fart expert um i am an expert on all things flatus so um so fart jokes are come out all the time so so my brother came up with the so wait, term wait 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 you're a flatulologist i'm a flatologist flatologist there yes. we go Yes, a flatologist, technical term. Um, so, um, your brother came up with a term. My brother came up with a term called a spatula, because sometimes you need a spatula to scrape stuff off legs after flatulizing. <laughs> and we'll leave it at that. So, Eric Swallow launches a spatula on live TV, and. He not only is still upright after that, um, 
he's actually he actually powers through his comment and gets through it. But here's the best part. The best part. It, it's never it's never the it's never the actual act of flatulating that'll get you nailed. It is always the cover up. Trying to figure out how to cover up your flatus. You know, the the barking spider defense is usually a pretty common popular one. I've actually used that one on a date before. Um, you know, <laughs> the, lot you know, there's lots of ways to try and cover it up. MSNBC legitimately stated it was Chris Matthews moving a coffee mug on the table. <laughs> I kid you not. They tried no. to legitimately use that as the cover up. Did I'm like, dude, it would be Chris Matthews. And I, and I get yeah, Chris Matthews on every day. He he's like, I fought it. I fought it. That's okay. That's okay. I, I fought on national television. Cause I'm Chris Matthews. And I'm a hubba. I, I don't play no softball with my flatulence. <laughs> Mr. Boredom. Yes. <laughs> yes, we are. Well, here's the problem, Boredom. You're listening to Americans that stream late at night. <laughs> what was it Isaiah said? A strange and curious people? Um, <laughs> well, the, uh, I, I take strange to a whole new level. <laughs> I mean, I, I, am, I am hanging out in California in, in Ugg Boots. This is, this is my footwear right now. Mm. My my delicious, amazing Ugg boots. Yeah, if our if our politicians bragged about that, we'd probably fire them. Are you kidding me, dude? Obama frickin' had beer gate. Don't oh, you remember right. that? Vaguely. Oh, and trust me, all and the politicians are drinking, drinking. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. I'm just, they, how else do they, they live with themselves? <laughs> How else do they live with themselves? Seriously. Oh no, they don't. They don't need the alcohol. They live with themselves. They're used to it at this point. Yeah, <laughs> hookers and blow. <laughs> do you think she has knowledge of the? Hey, that was only half a joke. It would do much to explain her okay, let's let's get off let's get off the hookers and blow stuff. Let's actually get back to legitimate Menphilia yeah. talking about stuffs. And no, Menphilia is not a hooker. Did not um, she sure dressed the part. The of the lake. Oh, come on. There's mind, worse. So doing, thou wouldst come to you know, honestly, I would not cold. mind having Menphilia's outfit for Soraya. Oh, I was going to say, you wouldn't mind having it for yourself? <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, with... with Unless the Ishkari with my moves and belly, I wasn't, I I wasn't going to go there. Off. I was just simply stating that you would like the color <laughs> ensemble. I wasn't going to say that your Chesil region would fill out that brassiere quite nicely. I wasn't going to say that. Yet another reason to stand watch over the keeper of the lake. For a mercy, I mean, the color well scheme is nice. So. I mean, I, yeah. Yeah, for a girl. Iceheart, Shiva, Athens, and Midgard Roma. I shudder to think how they're all connected. Yeah, in America's current culture, I think if he said that, there would be serious concerns raised about his ability to do his job. But that's probably just because a Republican's in office and the media wants to attack them for anything they can. Well, actually, what is kind of funny is, doesn't, doesn't Trump go out and like legitimately state that he doesn't drink? Yeah, Trump doesn't. Yeah, I mean, he legitimately goes out and, like, states he doesn't drink at all, which is kind of weird. <laughs> um, well, it's because his brother was an alcoholic and made him promise to never drink. Ah. Because it killed him. His brother's alcoholism killed his brother. Oh, I did not know that. Um, Boredom, just to let you know, um... Me, uh, Will, and Operator are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We don't necessarily drink, but hey, have root beer, we'll travel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or no BYU alcohol. chocolate milk. Oh. Ah, uh, no. Uh, no. What? What? Chocolate I can't milk. have chocolate. Oh, crap. That's right. Dang it. Caffeine. Right. Strawberry milk? What? what? 
What? Who? Was that Mrs. Wilhelm Poyo? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's Wilhelm and Filio Polo. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> nice voice changer there, Will. <laughs> that threw me off. <laughs> so you have donned the robes of Menphilia. <laughs> I legitimately thought that was your wife, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nox dude, wife. My no wife is asleep. That's, that's what I was thinking. I was just like, why the F is she awake? And why is she talking about strawberry milk? I mean, I could see I could see Mrs. <laughs> Nock coming by and saying that because I know Mrs. Walk, not Walk. Wow, Mrs. Walk. Wow. Uh, Mrs. Knock rather well because she is my wife's sister. We have had lots of conversations, and I know her personality quite well, and I would totally see her going to the mic and saying, what about strawberry milk? Which is disgusting. Yeah, I don't like that at all, no. You um, take that back. Strawberry milk is fantastic. Garbage. <laughs> I don't know. Is that a it's woman a or a prepubescent milk. teenager? I can't tell. Probably the latter. <laughs> um, the reason why it would probably be considered bad boredom is it, it sends an air of casualty that Americans just don't expect from their Secretary of Defense. We expect our military people to be very serious and stern all the time. <laughs> That's just our culture. I, I got a comment about that board. Keep keep going, keep going though, operator. Oh, I, I was I think I was pretty much done. It's just oh, yeah, okay. our culture is military people, stern, strong, always, you know. Yeah, until we watch uh, Top Gun, and then yeah. we're just like, but um, but um, but um, bum bum. Highway through the danger zone. <laughs> yep. Good old Kenny Loggins. But I, I was talking more about the bar scene where they're uh, talking about the you lost that love and feeling. Yeah. Uh -oh. He starts singing the Righteous Brothers and you go to Kenny Loggins. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> operator. You haven't you watched you? haven't you watched Top Gun? Yes, I watched Top Gun. I I'm asking Will or Squeakums. Yes. Squeak <laughs> <laughs> you really do sound like the the. You sound like um. Hey Yzma when she after she hey gets turned guys. into a cat at Emperor's New Groove. Hey Is guys. that my voice? Is that my voice? Is that my voice? Oh no! <laughs> oh crap! I'm going into Elmo territory. <laughs> Fine, I'll use a different voice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zoltan. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm fairly sure I got that one, too. <laughs> I uh, find we... your lack of faith disturbing. We are, we are, we have just gone off the rails tonight. <laughs> Of course we have. <laughs> it's Takadia. It's the Takadia, yo. Yeah. Full Shigen Agam's mode has been engaged. Or, or is this merely the voice of the Frito Bandito? I'm sorry, you actually sound like Irish with that one. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, the Canadian switch or something? <laughs> no, this is the robot. <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> you see, you see, Boredom, this is what your sub gets you. Full shenanigans mode and a little bit of a skill toy. <laughs> that oh, is whoa, no, awkward. that is not the right one. We do not want to go there right now. You want the solo instance. Yeah, I want, I want this guy. Not regretting it. Good. Man. We aim to please. Wait, 
Sorry, I had to clear my throat real quick. And certainly, not getting close to the Russians is a very good quality for any uh, state official. <laughs> right? Unless you're like, uh, unless they're like anthrax, or whatever the frick chemical agent or they used I on that. Or IU-38. Ah, yeah, that's right. Unless you like some okay. uranium in the morning. I turned off the voice modulator. Yay. <laughs> uh, or oh. Boo. Hmm. That sucks. Oh, that that's not fun. I enjoy I well, actually, you know what this does? This this allows you to um just say F it, I'm emulating. <laughs> uh huh. I tried everything, darn you, Nintendo. Just just build a Raspberry Pi box. What are those like, fifty bucks? Yeah, yeah. You can. I I think you can get away with the thirty dollar one. So or just say uh, sc seriously, just screw it and just emulate it on your computer, man. Yeah. Well, the Raspberry Pi box is like, it's basically the same thing except it's not on your computer. But, you just, yeah. You just get the Raspberry Pi chipset and Ooh. program it with the emulator and. Hello. Nurse. Ooh, we got nurse alert. Eh, evil nurse. Evil nurse. Well, she's still a nurse. Look, just because she hasn't partaken of the Hippocratic Oath does not mean that she's not a nurse. <laughs> well, she's trying to kill you. That, that makes her an evil nurse, in my book. Yeah. What the? How are you not dying? Uh, well, you're a white mage, so your damage is very low. But your no. healing is super high. I'd tell you to turn on Cleric Stance, but I they don't believe that's thing it. anymore. They deleted Cleric Stance. And also, it hasn't worked like that since Heaven well, Stormblood started, because they changed it into a temporary buff. A toggle. No, no. no not a toggle. It, it was, was a, a toggle, toggle, then it wasn't a toggle, and now it's gone. Yeah. There was a toggle in Heaven's Word in earlier, then in the in Stormblood they changed it into a buff, and now it's just gone. Because, yeah, they really hated roll actions, and they uh, left healers with what? Four? Six. One of which is Repose. Which is absolutely worthless. I'm not aware of anybody that uses it. It's not on any of my hot bars. Honestly, Repose should be removed from the game. Hashtag remove Repose, patch 5.2. As soon as useful, Supercast is useful, Lucid is useful, Surecast is useful. Rescue so, is, uh, genetic and speed. So, Boredom, you're saying that my imp my Imperial Brethren are, look like they're straight out of the Outer Worlds? Also, Feral, you should probably be using Holy to hit as many of them as possible. Uh, probably. You want to focus on keeping the ads down so that your friends don't die. Because if they all die, well then, it's all over. Uh, Mr. Boredom, I believe you mean the awesome helmets? Yes. You should use Benediction on Ilbert. Uh, no can do. Okay. Well, when it's off cooldown. Hmm. 
misses one of the worst solo instances of the game. There's one towards the end of A Realm Reborn. By the way, you should kill the guy that that monstrosity is tethered to first, because he's healing him. I do have to thank you, because with the, those mats that you sent me, I was able to oh. get Goldsmith up to 54. Only 54? Well, a lot of them, I couldn't get the collectability rating high enough for them to, to accept it. Okay, they are changing something that you're doing here. I am going to put something in 14 channel. And you, my friend, are going to read it. Or at least scroll down to the bottom and copy the appropriate macro for your level into the game. Make certain your stats are high enough, which means basically buying level 51 gear from the vendor at that point. Well, I think I have 53 gear. Uh, okay. Right now. Ah! Son of a biscuit eater. Yeah, that was a very, you. very difficult one. All right, I gotta change something because I accidentally ditched holy. Uh, okay, let's see here. Uh, character actions and traits. We're gonna put Holy back on. Let's see here. Okay, we'll put that right there. You have Holy on there? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I have Holy on Control 3. Uh, let's see here. Alright. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it again. Yeah. Is there any difference between the difficulties? Just do it on normal. Okay. <laughs> I honestly right. did not know that they implemented that for first time playthroughs. I thought it was only for New Game Plus playthroughs. not actually all that happy about that. You do have to get them close enough together somewhat for Holy to be able to hit all of them. Well, Holy boredom. is also centered on you, not the target. Oh. Well, Boredom, you say that being an army man is not very pleasant. Um, I, not being one myself, I, I have no context for that, but I would assume... Uh, well, no, I, it's not that I assume, it's that I know that those of us who are not army men appreciate what you do being an army man. So thank you.
still. did it. I did the thing. Yeah! 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 So did, did you watch the, the, the YouTube link that I posted about uh, Varric and Julie? Um, I watched the, the first one you did. I didn't get around to watching the, um, the one that you said had a bit more of the context. But yeah, you, you, you gotta love Varric and Julie. Whew. All right, see you, Borden. Yeah, Thank you it. so much for dropping that sub, man. Really, really appreciate it. Have a good rest of your day, my friend. Yeah, she uh, really gets Alpha out good here. <laughs> she burns him very nicely, and he quite deserves it as well. Yeah, it kind of it kind of does seem like that. Bovert at least has one or two good points here. Yeah. So. Hmm. Remember this after you get to Heaven's Word. Got it. Heard truly bothersome business. Oh, Balba, company again. No, I do not foresee a problem. I the main Allergy. concern is Roban. There is no telling what the brute might do. You cannot at blades, watch him in the flames look day and night. At the, you can't see these Lalafell and, and try to explain Even to me that they are not evil. Me, I shall personally <laughs> attend her grace. The Mistake lies not in n noticing that these ones are evil, but in the assumption that it means all Lollafells are evil. That ought to keep Lolorito occupied for a while. Nanamo and Namo, for my sake. I can't remember who it was, but <clears throat> I remember coming across a stand-up routine of this guy who actually is a midget. And, you know, most of his thing is, you know, just talking about being a midget and, you know, short jokes and stuff. But he goes, you know, I actually learned that there is a word for people who legitimately fear midgets. And he said what the word was. And <clears throat> he was talking about some famous actor that um 
somebody came up to him and said, "Hey, hey, hey, yeah, yeah, that guy, that guy, he's in, he's in the room next to you." And he is like the hey, the next dressing room. They're doing some like special charity thing or something like that. And he's like, "Oh, oh, really?" He goes, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." He is deathly afraid of midgets, and he and then the guy goes, "I knew exactly what I had to do." <laughs> So then he talks about it, he goes, he goes, so he goes, they, uh, so then we came up with this plan. So I, you know, so we go into the next room. Hold on. Hold on. I got some weird looking on my phone. Oh, that's that. Okay, we're good. So, so we go into the next room. My buddy says hi, strikes up a conversation. And all of a sudden, I run in and immediately start humping his leg. <laughs> Oh my! <laughs> the guy is like, ah, get it off, get it off, get it off. <laughs> and he's like, and I'm just going at it, you know, just trying to make him absolutely as uncomfortable as possible. And he literally did the whole stand on one leg and tried to shake me off with the other leg. <laughs> he's like, but I had a that real so bear rough. hug on him. And I'm just like I'm just like that is comedy. Right there. Just scaring the yep. ever living shiz out of the guy just for a cheap laugh. That that's gold. That's great. <laughs> okay, but did said victim of their attack. Did it was uh it was Uncle Jesse from a full house. <laughs> Was he cool with it later? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was cool with it later. I mean, he was, Our... he, he was, he was a little. He was obviously, you know, still not exactly just, you know, mental, mental thing with midgets. Just can't handle him. But he, he was, he was. I obviously had to have been cool with it to some degree. <laughs> but I mean, the guy, the guy knew who the midget guy was. He just. Did not see him coming, so to speak. <laughs> I mean, who would who would literally expect that? I mean, come on. <laughs> All right, back to Mordana. So you're saying that the midgets are in the Spanish Inquisition? Yes. Never expect the Spanish Inquisition. Unless you're living in the Spanish Inquisition, and then you expect it. Constantly. Well, and then you're like, the Inquisition, what a show, the Inquisition, here we go. You know, it's funny. I've been watching a couple people playing that new uh, Star Wars uh, Fallen Order. Fallen Order. Mm. Looks pretty good. Not going to lie. But then um, that, got, that got me thinking, if only they had a Spaceballs game that good. So I, I, I'm, I'm just, with that one, I want to wait and make sure they don't add microtransactions. <laughs> well, it's, it, it's a single player game. You know, and I, I, they don't really do micro microtransactions for single player. I mean, there there's going to be DLC and garbage like that. I mean, there's uh, oh, yeah, but DLC is a little bit different than microtransactions, right? Yeah, yeah. there are there are mission. single player games that have say. microtransactions. Well, most of those are like free to plays. Aren't they? Mm, I, I'm thinking of I Shadow can't. of Mordor, or was it oh, um, the other one? Shadow of Mordor, that's... Isn't that online, Terror, though? It's... No, it's single-player, but it, I, I think it has some online functionality. Like, similar to Dark Souls. Right, but... Wait, Dark Souls could, is... Yes. And I've never played Dark well, Souls. I... Dark Souls does have multiplayer. 
if you're online, but um, it's meant as a single people player experience. People have the ability to invade your game session and just completely wreck your night. It balances out the other aspect of multiplayer, which is summoning allies. Yes. But now is not the time to dwell. Because so, you can just summon a bunch of allies and go shred on the boss, but being invaded I have an counteracts the balance our to or the, the power accident. disparity there. Which I'll begin yeah. As soon as everyone is assembled. See, I've always liked cooperative uh, multiplayer rather than competitive. Well, I mean, but that Dark is Souls the interesting. Is neither. Yeah, that is the interesting thing about My Dark Souls because in. you can have people you come in and totally them. help you, or they can be absolute a holes and straight up mm -hmm. wreck you. And but, well, okay, in well, three, uh, they had an entire covenant that the entire deal was they could just straight up come in and do either. Have. I'm sure you're all familiar with well, why okay, so I mean, material that will allow us to capture Asian souls. One game that Black actually Snoke did not have cooperative co-op that I liked the uh, the multiplayer for was uh, Assassin's Creed. And so this is like Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Because that, uh, that game's multiplayer was fantastic. Because, you know, basically Assassin's Creed, it's all about stealth. And so you and X number of other people get dropped onto a map if where you, you can run man, around and try to, uh, you know, fight other people, kill other people, assassinate them, so to speak. Undone. Yeah, you, you can hide in, in piles of hay, barrels of hay, do all sorts of stuff. But every single person basically has a bounty on one other person. So they're trying to track down their target. But at the same time, you are the target of someone else. So you've got to kill the person that's targeting you and the person you're targeting. Yes. But you have no way of tracking who it is that, that is targeting you. So you just kill everyone. But everyone looks just like all the NPCs on the map. So you just kill everyone. <laughs> Um, you kind of can't do that in those games. <laughs> you just kill everyone. <laughs> it's like it's like GTA. <laughs> you can't just straight up murder everybody, or you will have a bad day. I mean, I played the one on the PSP. Well, I, 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 I will recall basically being able to just kill whoever I wanted. I will also openly admit I have not played an Assassin's Creed game. The closest thing I ever got was the Final Fantasy XV crossover. Admittedly, your victory proved ephemeral, as Lahabrea I mean, I a crystal of darkness to flee. I lost the track of the series after Assassin's Creed uh, Brotherhood, or what, whatever the last Assassin's Creed the Two uh, iteration was. Because I don't think I had the, the proper system for it, but I, I really, I, I really liked being, you know, the concept of being able. They killed me again. But um, I, I, I really like the concept of having an ancestral memory that you can access. Will it come, pray tell? And the whole idea of they using they're, they're using the Knights Templar, but you know it's like the, the, the Knights Templar are the bad guys. Where typically in you know fictional historical fiction settings, the Templars are always the good guys. And therein lies the rub. Finding a way to create the blade whenever and wherever we choose. Historically, they were neither research, good guys it? nor bad guys. Though, oh, yeah, but I'm going to they were, while, depending on the period, slightly closer to good guys. And I could well, yeah, and help. within the within the context of the Assassin's Creed series, the Knights Templar are, are definitely the bad guys. But mm -hmm. I am required so it's not entirely himself. historically accurate in that regard. Oh, no. Lady because given me so the, the Islamic Caliphate that was in the region, the Europeans didn't just say, hey, let's go start a war with them. The Caliphate had been constantly expanding via 
war for centuries and had managed to push into Spain and Portugal even. And so they were like, eh... Guys, let's band together and stop them from going anywhere. Word arrived from the Charlian Netherlands. And that was basically what the Third Crusade was about. Party was dispatched to investigate the incident at the Isle of Val. What they discovered was troubling, to say the least. According to the report, and that's where the Knights Templar really from was. Was, was in that Third Crusade. The very fabric of reality. Aye. Yet the mystery ended not with the Isle's disappearance. It hath come to light that a number of scholars in various other loc- What's more, they all had something in common with the head of the students of Valdesium. That being said, the, the Knights Templar did a lot of bad things world. while they were there. All indications suggest Asian involvement. But I sense that a force greater still is at work. The entity, the Dark Bee. Ah, uh, yes. I pray that my dear friend Cryo regains consciousness soon. The Asians causing trouble. Witness to the Isle of Val's final moment, As they tend to do. May be able to shed some light on this mystery. Ah, the Isle of Val. Oh, so we're learning about this then. So am I in, uh, so is this 2.5 now? I, I'm not sure if you're in 2.4 or 2.5. Did you? Hmm. So if you go to your achievements menu go to the quest tab yeah i'm in a i'm in a big cutscene right now mm -hmm. following the calamity the forces of the 14th imperial legion entrenched themselves in strategic locations across eorzea so swiftly did they accomplish this it was suspected that they had received help think that it came from Huayu. Huayu. There is more. We have reason to believe that Huayu didn't deal exclusively with the 14th. She also answered to a higher authority in Gaul. But this higher authority could not have been the Emperor. By consenting to the media project, Solus and Zos Galvis showed himself to be more concerned about preventing the spread of... We believe a number of high-ranking figures within the royal household were against the... Alas, these provisions did not prevent Dalamud from falling, and the ensuing chaos changed the face of the realm forever. To all intents and purposes, the Meteor Project had failed. Um, so let us cling together is the last quest of 2.4. Okay, and I've done that one. Have you? I think I so. think you're currently on it. So you'll probably be given the achievement right after you finish this cutscene. So then he's got 2.5 and then 2.55. Um, 2.5 is the end of story. They, there wasn't a 2.55 story. That would have just been a content or bug fix. Um, I think. Or did they do story with two with point X fives? I don't think they did. But one of several, in actual fact, we've learned that even as why you serve the empire's interest. I don't recall four point five five having story. I think that just came out with four point five, didn't it? Well, yeah, but I think, but in I think in two point five five there was at least a little bit of story. Triple, if you consider her services to Ben. We'll find out. Don't worry. Emperor is separate. I mean, there's not another achievement between Let Us Cling Together and Before the Dawn. So, as neatly as that's it. Seemed to that's the end of the Realm Reborn. By whose will was the Marshal but the question is, can Feral finish it tonight? That's right. Could it no. Is at work here? Yeah, definitely if not. So, I'll tell you that much right eight. now. He's, he's got like... Um... A good 20 or 30 quests? Not a pleasant for task, that I last you, patch but a necessary one I know that full well one of them has a trial in it actually the steps of faith General, which is so easy oh. to find. That there may be yeah that one that everyone forgets okay no but the thing is um, oh and that other trial those who are innocent have no 
you have ever been a friend of well, I mean, they've really nerfed the Steps of Faith since it was originally released. But there's the other trial. I'm trying to think, and so now I'm checking my duty finder. The... Don't worry, I'm looking at the duty finder right now. Mm -hmm. I believe. How could you, Wario? How could you side with them? It's them. the first level 50 if you started from 50, or in, what is it, descending? Level descending, yes. Oh! I'm not sure why it's down there, down there at the bottom. Uh, Steps of Faith, too. I guess it's because that's where they come in the story? Everything else is... Well, no, the other stuff wasn't optional in the story. The hard ones all had to be done. Sorry. Raoban goes... Mm -hmm. You're expressing your empathy with Raoban. I shall have no further need of you this day. Your grace. And then she turns around with the shift to the heart. Oh, wait. Spoilers. I fear that Those not even the Lion Chamber shall remain private for long. Has the situation grown so grim? Nani? Oh, hello. Ever since you proposed the cartoon, hello, Miss. Adelegi has risen to greater prominence upon the backs of impoverished refugees. Oh, it's so cute. Well, no, wait a second. They're uh, having this... muffins and little bonbons. Oh, it's so adorable. The monetarists were ever united in their pursuit of profit. Do they the each have their own pot of tea? That is. Uh, yeah, that's they're a straight. Of... Oh, yeah. and, and not, not only heads. that, look how many cubes of sugar is in her mug. Okay, no, Wait, that's the sugar dish. That's, that's, not the... that's not her mug. That's the su sugar dish. Uh, where you would pick up the sugar to cubes to put oh, in yeah. your mug. Okay. Yeah, it's got the little tongs and everything. It makes it. It's just. Whoa, it, hi. It is You're here too. passing oh, strange for well. each head of state to have their own pot of tea. Like, come on. Come on, they're head of heads of state. No, of like, course they're entitled no. to have their own pots like, of tea. Okay, okay, okay. I don't drink there's, tea. There's the teacup. That... There's the teacup. Mm -hmm. I don't drink tea, and I know that if you have tea with the Queen of England, you have what the Queen decides to have brewed. Like you don't get your own pot there. Well, I would expect that if you drink tea with the Queen of England. If she all determines that each person gets their own pot, each person gets their own pot. Even that's, if she decides that's what, I what would, that's what the I contents would. of each pot if would I contain. My duty, I, must uh, tread warily. It would not... I don't... Uh, I view it, uh, I view it like giving everyone their own water bottle. He would doubtless say that I have that's, what I, that's what I view it as. Uh, I mean, that you get your own cup. You don't, like, a ruler is the pot. To take it's a like... Wide view. You see, you see, operator, this is why you're not as sophisticated will as Will and I. <laughs> you're, you're obviously lacking in your posh lessons. <laughs> I mean, clearly, it's up to the, uh, the... It's up to the choice of the host, which in this case is Nanamo. Mm -hmm. And she probably did the give um, the Admiral and What's-Her-Face the option of choosing whatever tea they wanted. The probably. I love, their, I I love their salads and their little tray of desserts. It's so cute. Even and then they have another even bigger teapot there just sitting there and it's like, what? Oh, that's not the teapot. That's the sake pot. The <laughs> now that I can believe. That's the good times <laughs> pot. <laughs> Which I, I haven't gone through it. Maybe uh, maybe operator can speak to it. But I've heard that if you go through the culinarian storyline, I haven't uh, done the culinarian storyline that far yet. Um, apparently, uh, Nanamo does make she an appearance. Does. He does. Which, for those, well, I can't say much, but 
Um, there's a certain point where it can be jarring because of certain events. Because I think it's like the level 50 quest. And if you do it at the right point in the right events, then things are a little out of order. Yeah. Things are just a little out of order. For Ulda to move forward, it is not only the Syndicate that must be dissolved. Nay, you jest. Look! Eorzea's First Republic! <laughs> my friend, it was for no other reason than to make known to you my intent... For the record, I back Nautimal's plan 100%. 110 percent even a thousand percent shall inevitably ensue any leader that would just give up their power is for the good of the in my book i mean if you're just willing to give up the power you're a-okay in my book and you forsake yourself i think nanimo is just sick and tired of it honestly that also could play into it, yes. Most people you give them a little bit of power. It corrupts, they go bad. Mm -hmm. There is no other way. When the time is right, the nation shall become a true republic. Power is not something to give to people. Uldar will no longer belong to kings or queens or merchants. Should take it away as often as possible. To her people. Now let's all nod in unison. Nod. Son, forgive me for casting aside all that you have toiled for in my name. Beyond this gesture. I am powerless to help my subjects. Not the She's going to dissolve the government and create a new one. Okay. Hmm. Achievement unlocked Dreams of Ice. Yes, that's the end of 2.4. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, so complete the quest, let us clean together. Okay. The next quest is the start of 2.5, which will have two, yes, count them, two trials. Mm. One of them is okay. It has a very weird time mechanic where you go through a time gate and it amplifies the duration of every buff and debuff on you by like 10. So if you go in there with a debuff on you, um, prepare to die. So when these were all coming out, like you would literally get to that point and then you'd have to just stall and do other things until the next patch came out, yeah? Correct. Um, oh. you would go do the raids right. if you were an endgame raider. Um, you get level your a crafter if you're a crafter. So, um, the gear that you have now, this would have come out with 2.4, and the tombstones to get it would have been on a strict weekly um, allotment. So, right now, we have Allegan Tombstone of Phantasmagoria, is the limited tombstone mm -hmm. you can get 450 of them per week um for reference you need a thousand of them to buy a weapon you need about 845 or so to buy a chest piece or pants and about 475 to buy a helm um hands or boots so it takes several weeks to be able to buy a full set of Phantasmagoria. Wow. Um, you cannot buy the upgrade materials with Tomestones. You have to get the 
You have to get a trade-in material from the Alliance raid. That's on a weekly lockout. Um, you can buy further upgrade materials with... Uh, let's see, what are they, what's the exact name here? You're going to get a kick out of this. Sack of Nuts. <laughs> which Coupon you... Nuts? I think so. It, it's from Clan Nutsy. Um, and Nutsy is a Moogle. Big one, if I recall correctly. Um, so <laughs> you get that from killing, or you get those from doing your Shadowbringers hunts, and only your Shadowbringers hunts. Um, and you can buy upgrade materials. This is actually a, something that's only happened in Shadowbringers, I think. Is you can buy the upgrade materials for the Phantasma ge Phantasmagoria gear with the hunt stuff. Um, that's somewhat limited. Uh, let's see. So getting geared up that way takes a while. The other way to get geared up is to do Savage Raids. Um, the best weapon only comes from clearing the final Savage Raid of this tier. Although, I think some jobs might have to clear the ultimate difficulty raid in order to get their truly absolutely best in slot best in slot weapon mm -hmm. because um there's only two 475 weapons for each job um one from eden gate sepulcher one from alexander ultimate um alexander ultimate is a tier and difficulty above Savage Raids even. Mm. Absolutely have to be in best in slot gear to do it. Like, tank busters one-shotting if you don't do things correctly, levels of difficulty. Wow. 50,000 damage auto attacks. Ooh, delicious. Healers cry. <laughs> Mechanics that require you to handle them absolutely perfectly for the entire duration of the fight for all like 15 minutes of it wow all and right. if you don't at any point you wipe mm. and must return to the very beginning <laughs> all right well i think i'm gonna call it there for tonight I had a long work day so i'm ready to hit the sack right now so all right, all right. well Thanks for hanging out, as always. Always appreciate Operator, when he leaves voice chat, I've got a quick question. Okay. All right, so I'll just head out then. All right, have a good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Sorry, I don't mean to kick you out. Oh, it, no, 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 that's, that's fine. I, I was going to... I have I have a specific question about spoilers, <laughs> and I'm just like, I know you would not want to hear it. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I, I, I was going to click off anyway, so. All right. All right. Have a good, good night, night, guys. Night. All right, well, that's it for me. Uh, quick show close tonight. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Um, so we'll be back uh, tomorrow night. Hopefully I won't have another late night um, in the office, so I'll be able to get here a little earlier. Um, Mr. Boredom, as always, thank you so much for that sub. I know you've gone off and enjoy started enjoying your tomorrow. <laughs> So all right, we'll be back uh tomorrow night with more uh with more uh Final Fantasy fourteen. We'll be sprinting on towards the uh final uh patch in between. Um also check in to the Takaria after party where we have the hashtag uh or the viewers choice Saturday poll right now. Uh, the choices are Crypt of the Necrodancer, Beyond Good and Evil, Pandora's Tower, Victor, Steampunk Story, Cat Quest, Pokemon Shield, and The Last Story. So right now we have two votes for Pokemon Shield, uh, two votes for Crypt of the Necrodancer, and one for Beyond Good and Evil on the PC. So uh, we'll be back tomorrow night. Uh, good night, Isaiah Norris, wherever you are. And good night, everyone. Good night.